Hi everybody, it's Robin with Uniquely Robins. Uh, welcome everybody back. Any new um, subscribers we have, welcome. We're wonderful and glad to have you. Um, we've been working on this, redoing this box. Um, yesterday we decoupaged this on the top and it is dry now. So I'm gonna show you how to um, get this excess paper off, preferably without ripping it, so. Uh, what you want to do is you want to sand it, but you want to sand it in a downward motion. Kind of downward and toward you. Um, if you have an emery board, that works great. Um, we do have this little lip on here, which is kind of in my way, so it's going to um, take a little more effort than it normally would. But as you can see, it's going to peel that right off. Um, you know, I can show you down here on the bottom probably a little better. Move this space out of the way. I'm just going to add a little distress to our piece. I'm going to pull this up just a little bit because it kind of got stuck a little under there and I don't want it on the bottom so much. Okay, so there we have it. That's all off. Um, don't really have any on the sides, I don't think. I'm going to just run my paper down the side just to give it a little make sure there's no paper there that needs to come off and give it a little bit of distressing right there so all we have left is this little piece up here and I've already got it loose from sanding so if I can get a hold of it here there we go okay depends on the angle sometimes uh, it's hard harder to do on camera you can't always get the angle you want and still let people see what you're doing but there we got it so I like this. I like the bumpiness of it. Um, I think it's very pretty. And our, we had put our legs on yesterday and I wanted to show you that um, even without the, uh, let me move this out of the way, even without the uh, nails in there yet, it's still pretty sturdy. It stands up pretty nice. We like that. Uh, we do have some uh, a piece left to go on the other side, so I will do that tonight. Um, since I showed you the other one, I don't think we need to do that on camera. And then I will have some of these pieces of this, um, just the flower pieces left when I'm done. And a couple of little butterflies, so we will put the butterflies and some of those on the top of it. And we're going to decoupage those on the same way. And then we'll go from there. So now I'm going to move this out of the way and get on to our thrift haul. Um, I already showed you this one. So we've already seen that. And I've already showed you this little um, wooden rocking chair that we got. Um, so we're going to do this up. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to sell this yet or after I'm done or if I'm going to put it with my vignette downstairs. But we will go from there and see. Um, but we do have those two pieces we're going to redo. Some goodies over here. Uh, the next thing I wanted to show you was I went to, um, where did I get this? At Salvation Army Thrift Store. And I got a set of canisters. And this is them. They're dirty and so I haven't washed them yet. But I'm going to wash them up really good. And um, we are going to paint these and redo them. Um, I really like the, the flower word that's on there, so I don't know if I'm going to figure out a way to keep that um, or we're just going to re-add it in a different way, which probably what we'll do. Or we may put um, a transfer on there or uh, 
print out a transfer to decoupage on there um, because it doesn't I really love these this canister set I think it's old looking and just really cool um, but not my colors for my kitchen so we are going to redo it for matching the colors of my kitchen okay so um, I also found this little lantern um, I really like the way the outside of it is done but I think we may give it a little more depth by spray painting it black and then doing some uh, white over top of it, maybe some white chalk paint, and then distressing it back so that you can still see some of that black coming through instead of the gold that's coming through now. Um, gold's not really my color, I usually go with silver, um, even things I'm redoing to give away. But this is solar, so um, that'll be pretty cool outside once we get it all done. Uh, me or whoever decides to purchase it. I found this really cool. I think it's a candle holder is what it is. And it comes with this uh, little candle snuffer, which I'm not sure um, about because we'll have to think about this, but we're going to um, do this up a little bit as well. Uh, this I paid two dollars for. I thought for two bucks we can do something with it. I may have my husband cut the handle part off right here and use it as a unique little riser in the kitchen. And then we may um, turn this into a little bell for our um, three-tiered stand or something like that. But we're going to redo that somehow. And, oh, <clears throat> this... five dollars and I love love these domes anytime I see these um, I buy them even if they're just by themselves because you can do so much with them uh, these cloches you can make it um, if you don't if it doesn't come with a board you can always make a board for it to go on um, we'll probably put a little handle thing on the top of it um, and either sand this back to raw wood or paint it to look like raw wood. Um, I do believe it is wood. It's really heavy. Um, so it's really good wood if it is wood, but we'll probably sand this back. Actually, let's just take a little, we're gonna do it anyway. I wanted to see, it's really thick on there. This may not be wood, it may be marble. Yeah, it's. I think it's marble. Um, so we're going to do that up somehow. I don't know if we're going to strip it back to the marble or what, but I know we will definitely put something on the top for a little handle um, so you don't fingerprint it up every time you open it. But these are really cute sitting on your counter with... Um, decoration in them you can use them um, if you make like a little cheese cheese plate or uh, dessert plate or something these are really nice uh, just a plant in there looks really cool uh, some little birds or something like that would look really pretty just sitting out so lots of different ideas we can do with that um, I also got <laughs> This is a little man, this little wooden man, which I just think he is adorable. And we may um, dry brush some white on him to uh, just lighten him up a little bit. But I just thought he was so cool, there was no way I was leaving the store without him. And for a dollar, that is not bad at all. So we like him. Um, these just came in this bowl. And probably give those to the kids or use them for something at Christmas time. Um, this I got at a garage sale and it was for $10, but she sold it to me for, uh, three. So, um, I haven't decided it's glass and I just love this little handle on it. This basket is adorable. Look beautiful with some flower arrangements in there, sitting in the middle of your table or something. Um, we're definitely going to darken this wood up either with paint or, um, stain because I don't really like it, that white light colored wood. Um. And I haven't decided if we're gonna paint this or leave it as is. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think we should paint this or do you think we should just leave it as is? 
Um, I really, really like this bowl. I think it is just awesome. I've never seen a glass bowl like, or a glass basket like that before. So, slide that over. Now we look at that. Okay, and we also, um, I got this, um, used to evidently be a wall hang someone made, um, out of an old piece of wood for $3. Um, I don't think I, I think I got it for less than that. Uh, I can't remember for sure, but, um, my idea for this is to, um, of course, take the price tag off. Got this at Goodwill. Um, is to take this piece off here and we're sand this all back real nice and I'm either going to kind of whitewash it um, so some of the wood pops through or I may stain it. I think I have a black colored stain which I think would look beautiful on here. Um, whoops, there went my man. Sorry about the noise. Um, but yeah, we're gonna take this off and we're gonna use this as a riser because it already has these pieces on it. Um, and I do have reach it we had some old dining room chairs that we got rid of because they were uh, falling apart and um, I, <laughs> I made my husband take all these pieces off of the top because once we take this off here um, we'll saw those off and sand them down really good um, once we do that, these will make great little feet. So I may put little feet on them too, just to make it a little bit higher than it is. I haven't decided yet which way I'm going to do that, but we do have plenty of these and we will be using some of those for some projects coming up. But that was really cool. I got these bowls for $1.99, uh, these silver bowls, and we're probably going to paint these. And we're going to make a three-tiered, um, a three-tier thing out of it, which I think will be very cool. Um, I've made them with the flat pieces. I've never made them with bowls before, but I think that will be kind of cool. You know, put candy in or something like that. will be kind of nice. I got that. And all my other chair ladies out there, um, I paid three dollars for this chair, um, which is probably a little more than I normally would have paid for um, something like this, but I just love it. I think uh, the chair itself is really cool. And actually, it's not so too bad as it is, but we'll freshen it up, you know, wash it up, and then freshen up the paint on it by putting another coat. Um, I may paint it, spray paint it black, and then do the white on top so that when we distress it, the black comes through. Um, or I may just um, let this, um, the wood part of it come through. Um, I haven't decided on that yet, but this is a cute little thing to set. I have one, um, the one I have downstairs has got a wicker seat on it, and I think a wicker back um, with my little vignette downstairs. But yeah, cute little chair. So we might fix this up. We'll probably resell these. Um, I got these old cake pans that um, we will probably get a flat pan to go under and make a riser out of those as well, or a, a three-tiered stand out of those as well. Oh, candle. So if we take... You could even just make a two-tiered stand by painting this the same color as you're going to paint these. And you have a nice, and you glue it all together, you have a nice little two-tiered stand. Or you could put a bigger plate underneath it and make a three-tiered or put one here with a little bowl on top um, to make a three-tiered with that way. You know, there's just so many ways you can do that. But anytime I see candle holders like this, even if they're glass or wood or even if they're plastic, you can make them look high-end. Um, I buy them and this one was only 69 cents so you can't pass that up right oh and this one i love this one this one i think is going down on my little coffee station 
to put my coffee in. It is just, I think it's just gorgeous as it is. I'll just clean it up. It has a seal on it, a plastic seal to make it airtight. Um, has this little beaded thing. And these, you know, if you find old canisters, just single old canisters by themselves, grab them while you're out. Um, and these beads is just twine, a few little beads and a little wooden disc that you can cut out of any piece of wood and just put, you know, uh, some word or something on it or leave it plain. Um, and they make adorable little uh, canisters for your coffee, your tea, you know, whatever that you want to keep in them. And they are just so beautiful. This one is, uh, it says food safe, made in China, dishwasher safe. Um, it's a newer, made to look old. Um, and it looks like it's, you know, like hand done. It's not, but it looks like it is. Um, but I just, I think it's a really, really cool base in or uh, canister. And I'll probably just leave it as is. I might darken the wood on the beads up a little bit. Oh, and I also picked these up. And they even came with the screws to hang them up. Um, they're shelves. Uh, three different sizes of shelves that you hang up on your wall. Grab these off of here so I don't lose them. Well, I don't know if I will use them or not, but if I don't use them for this project, we will use them for something. I even like the grayish color of this wood. So that would even go with my decor, but I don't know if we'll end up selling these or hanging on to them or what we'll do with them, but we are going to do them up, update them a little bit, make them a little fresher. Whew. That not even off of that. Okay, so we have three different sizes of them. So you can hang them up on your wall and little knickknack shelves. Um, which we could do that. Or I'm thinking possibly if I can get I have a glass cutter. If I can get a picture frame that is about this size with the glass in it, I'm thinking of just putting a backing on it and putting, you know, the glass on it and using them as shadow boxes. Shadow boxes are very, very expensive to buy. Um, trust me, I know I buy a lot of shadow boxes. They are very expensive to buy. Um, so if we can make our own, that would be great. Um, but yeah, we could just make these into shadow boxes and they'd be nice deep shadow boxes. And you could put um, like butterflies in there or um, flower arrangements. Um, they have this stuff now that you can put your flowers in and you cover it with this crystal-like stuff and leave it set in there for a couple of days or uh, I think it takes may take up to a week or so to do. And it will dry them out, but they dries, it dries them out and they look, it doesn't mess with the color of them. They look the same color and everything. Um, and you can, you know, put your little display in here with glass on the front. And that those would make very cute, um, a collection of three, you know, shadow boxes with flowers in them even. So, so many ideas, so many things you could do with these. But we will be working on those. We got another box here, or bag here. Some of these I got a few days ago, and I don't remember what all was in there. Oh. These are some different size and shapes of jars. You pick these up with a dollar, the Dollar Tree, a dollar a piece. We will be redoing things like these. Um, and you know the uh, um, apothecary jars? Sometimes I say that word wrong. The apothecary jars that you can purchase, these, we can make into apothecary jars by using something like this as the riser underneath it. You can turn it that way or this way. Um, 
whichever look you like the best. Um, the candle sticks that I was talking about before, um, you can use those to make them as risers and have different sizes and shapes. I have um, some apothecary jars downstairs in my dining room that um, I keep, you know, snacks in there for the kids. And when we have Steve's mom on the weekend for game night, we uh, play games down there and stuff a lot. So uh, I usually have snacks in there first to snack on while we're gaming and the same thing with these kind of legs even if you don't have um drawer pulls work um these little wooden things work to make little tops on them to where when you know they look more like more of an apothecary jar they have some kind of a lid on them with a, a pull on it so you know you could use these um i've used the little crystal doorknobs that I have on um, all my dining room drawers and my kitchen drawers. Um, I have those pools on them and I use them a lot. These I have taken before with the um, trying to find the, a visual for you. I'm trying to find that um, there it is. candlestick holder because I know I got two of those. Um, usually the Dollar Tree carries these too. Um, but this was only 69 cents, so it was cheaper than the Dollar Tree even. Um, but my Dollar Trees, we have three Dollar Trees in town, and all three of them are out. Um, but yeah, in my bathroom I have mason jars, which these are generic kind of mason jars. And I have glued the candlestick to the bottom uh, like that and put the little crystal knob on the top. I uh, painted them black, I think. I think they're black. Gosh, I should know what color they are. But anyway, I keep my Q-tips in one and my Q, uh, my um, cotton balls in another one. And they sit on my shelf in my uh, bathroom. So they look really cool. So there's you know so much stuff that these jars you can make with. So I always try to pick them up when they're, when they're pretty cheap or at the Dollar Tree because they're only a dollar. I'll put that back there, it'll fall through. And I have made three tier shelves um, for a while now, uh, several years actually. And uh, I always buy these at the Dollar Tree, or the Family Dollar carries them. Um, you used to get four in a package, um, now you get two. Um, but it's still, you know, a good deal. You're getting two of them for a dollar. So you could buy, you know, two sets and have a three-tiered tray or a four-tiered tray, you know, however tall or big you want it. And the difference um, between using the glass, you can make these just single-tiered too. So if you want to make a three-tiered tray and you buy two packages of these, you'll have one left. Um, and, you know, you paint this up however you want it painted. Uh, this one I'm probably not going to paint because these are the colors that my daughter likes and she has in her kitchen. And I'm going to try to make this for her and she will probably um, like it better with this on it. So, uh, but you can just make a one-tiered stand, you know, like this. Put a cake or something on. Uh, if you want it taller or if you want it shorter. Uh, but usually what I do is I take these, and you can turn these up or down, and the last knobs that I had uh, that were similar to these, they weren't quite as big, I don't think. Um, oh no, and the one I made for the kitchen, I took a brass candle holder apart, and the little round part on the top that holds the candle, I turned those upside down, and that's what I used for um, risers for my one in my kitchen. But you put, you know, three or four of these on here to make feet. Um, I usually use four just to make sure they're sturdier. And then what you do, and we, we will be doing this one day um, with these exact ones. And then you put your piece in the middle after you paint it or do whatever you're going to do to it. And it makes a very cute little tear tray to sit in your kitchen. And um, then I always look for itty bitties, is what I call them. Um, itty bitty things like little houses, uh, 
I used to have a Christmas village that I put up every year. And when we moved to this house, it's a lot smaller. Um, and I really don't have a place to put it anymore. But I have taken some of the houses from it. And I have um, painted those a solid color. And used them as, you know, little decorations on here. Um, little birds are cute. Like you can find some little ceramic birds and paint those up and use them. Um, I'm trying to think what else I've used on there. Salt and pepper shakers. A lot of times you can get those and you can usually find them, you know, to go with anybody's decor, whether it's roosters or owls or, um, you know, salt and pepper shakers come in a variety of them. And, you know, just fill in the little holes where you normally put your salt and pepper out with a little bit of spackling or um, the, the uh, air dried clay. Let that dry and sand it down real good and then paint them. You can paint them any color you want. And they are so, so adorable. Um, I have some, found some little tiny buckets that I have. Um, the one in my dining room, I'll have to put a, I'll put a picture up so you can see what it looks like. Um, but I have a little tiny bucket and I filled it with um, some glue and uh, I think I put a little bit of cotton in there. And it says milk on the front of it. So it looks like a little bucket of milk on there. It's really cute. Um, but I, yeah, I'll put a picture on the screen after the video so that you can see what that looks like. Um, but I mean, there's just so many different ways you can decorate them up and they are so pretty and you can use this in any rooms. You can put them in the bathroom and put your, you know, toothbrushes, holders and stuff on it. Um, and it just takes a little bit of space and then you have two tiers. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a little space saving tip. Um, your kitchen, I have one in my kitchen, one in my dining room. Um, you know, anything like that. But um, those are the things I have so far. I have a couple other things that um, I'm going to go to the re resale store. Um, a lot of times you can find a lot of different stuff there to use. Um, free wood, if you search on the uh, marketplace, the Springfield Rummage Sale um, is pl different places that I look for them, but there's so many places online that you can, you know, look for people that are selling things or giving things away, Craigslist, stuff like that. Um, a lot of times you can find free wood. Um, even if it's old, nasty looking wood and, you know, somebody says, well, that's trash. It's not. It's not trash. Old, nasty looking wood, you can sand it down. Um, I, I like that old ruggedy look on some things depending on what it is um, but if you don't like it you can always sand it down to the good wood um, cut piece off if it's just ruined on one end or something uh, there's just so much you can do with just little pieces of wood so if you see those grab them um, and you know if you have enough room to, to stash them away stash them away that way if you come up with a project you need a little piece of wood you can always go find it um, but things like that so these are things we're going to be working on. We're almost done with our box, and uh, then we will get started on one of these projects. Uh, we'll probably start on the canister set since I really want to use that in my kitchen. Um, I have the the new ones with the they're black with the little window in it, and I have the silver lids. It was what I have in there now, um, just because I needed something, and that's what I found that was cheap at the moment. So um, yeah, I want to get these done up and use these in my kitchen, and then I we will probably use the other ones and make something out of them and stick it up online and sell it that way make something um you know we can make them look just like crocs even just little crocs with no lids we don't have to put the lid back on them um, and you can always use those lids for something else there you know there's always something you can use pc parts for so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, i hope you enjoy these kind of uh kind of like trash to treasure videos uh, redoing items um, if you have any ideas or things you want to see done you know just leave me a comment in the in the thing down below if you saw anything here that um, you would like uh, me to redo and put up for sale because you'd like to purchase this let me know um, and if, if that's the case then I will you know do it to how you want it done uh, the colors you want used and things like that so everybody have a great day Show the ladies down below some love. Show some family some love. Bye-bye. God bless.